Hi, my name's Dr. Matt Jenkins, um, and this is my research assistant, Emily. Um, and together, we've been looking at the archival sources in relation to our project here at Elizabeth Castle. So we've been at the National Archives and the British Library uh, in London. We've also been working at the Jersey Archives here on the island. Um, and you might think it's a bit strange, we're archaeologists, we're digging up in the ground, but also the documentary evidence really helps us to inform our work here. But it always isn't a simple story. So the uh, um, archival sources often tell a different story to what we've been going on um, underground. We have fantastic uh, images of what the long barracks, which we're digging up behind us, look like. But actually when we're starting to do the work and starting to dig up that material, we're starting to get questions and ambiguity is about what was it made of, uh, how was it used, and when actually was it built. The same goes for the hospital. This is still standing, but the documentary sources tell us a little bit about how it was used and changing ideas of uh, sanitation and uh, the um, medical um, help during the 19th century. Uh, and Emily uh, has some fantastic find in relation to the hospital. We've, we found the earliest mention of the hospital that we have so far, which was in 1823, and we found that in the Jersey archives. So that was a great find. It shows uh, when the hospital might have been built, um, but also um, the archive work also helps us to tell slightly more personal stories um, about uh, the lives of the people uh, who were sort of ill and lived here. Um, so we start to get um, uh, marriage quarters uh, within the hospital, so soldiers who were uh, married but fallen ill, they have their own separate space, and there's also um, uh, an infectious disease ward.